LA CITY COUNCIL ALEX AND CHRISTINE HAVE BEEN WORKING ON REGULATIONS ON NEW HOTEL DEVELOPMENT THAT MAKES SENSE WHEN YOU'RE TRYING NOT TO TAKE AWAY FROM NEW AFFORDABLE HOUSING. BUT SOMEHOW, SHORT-TERM RENTALS LIKE AIRBNB GOT ROPED IN. The Welcome Inn in Eagle Rock is just one hotel in Los Angeles now worried about yet another layer of city bureaucracy. We have to go to the LAPD uh, Police Commission and apply for a permit. Those items are now before us. Tuesday, the City Council approved an ordinance that, according to Ray Patel, slipped in a requirement that hotels and short-term rentals apply for a police permit. If that permit is denied, and right now it's not clear what would disqualify a hotel, the welcome in might not be welcoming at all. They can go back five years if there was any kind of violation, so according to them, that uh, is, does meet the, the bar to get a police permit. And then you have a building like this sitting empty in, you know, city of Los Angeles, and the employees that work here are out of work. Hotels aren't the only new business required to get that police permit. Short-term rentals like Airbnb would also need the new permit on top of the other city requirements to operate. It's quite a bit of an overreach. <laughs> Requiring a police permit is aimed at the short-term rentals that turn into party houses. It's my understanding that a small, small, small percentage of Airbnb hosts really have these places that host these large parties, like less than 1%. But critics, including those on the city council, wonder how short-term rentals got thrown into a package of new regulations specific to hotels and the approval of new hotels. And I think that there's a matter between the whole uh, police permit review process has not been adequately fleshed out. Council member John Lee tried to get the permit requirements set aside without luck. He's not the only member concerned about the effect of this new demand on police. Council member Tracy Park asked LAPD's Lieutenant Scott Moffitt about necessary infrastructure. To manage a new set of obligations like this. I think the key on that is we would be draining from uh, existing department resources. I want the police to fight crime. Well, the new regulations would go into effect July 2024. We tried to get a comment from Paul Krikorian's office, but uh, did not come in time for this newscast. I can tell you that according to what he said in the council meeting yesterday, it sounds like that it's possible that that rule can be revisited, perhaps refined. But it sounds as if he's pretty committed to the idea of making the process easier, but also having a tool to go after those quote unquote bad actors.